Alright guys, and welcome to episode one of Let's Sketch with Mark Ross. Today we're going to be drawing some clouds, some very happy clouds. Maybe we'll put a sun in there, have some sunglasses. Who knows? Let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead and open up our Sketchpad app. See those little paw prints? Those are adorable paw prints. Alright, so... The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to picture the happy clouds in our heads. I want you to think about a happy time, a time when you were as happy as you could be. I want you to pull from that to make these clouds. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab Studio. Go ahead and open that up. You'll see I will have our assortment of paint brushes and different colors on the table. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna confirm that. We need no background image, just a plain, white, smooth background. All right, a couple more paw prints to start us out. So we're going to go ahead and touch the handle to open the toolbar. We're going to switch over to these. Go ahead and hit yes for me. Select a real nice blue background for the sky. Go ahead and put that on the large setting. Alright, large and in charge. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start scouring this whole entire background blue. Like the TARDIS. Now don't worry about the white in the background. Nobody ever had any problem with a little bit of white on top. Alright, go ahead and just keep filling that in until it's completely on the screen. Now don't worry about that white that's on there. Like I was saying, a little white on top never hurt anybody, and that's just going to add to the effect of our beautiful clouds. Remember, happy clouds. Alright, so we've got the blue in there. We're almost finished up. Let's go ahead and just add the final touches of that blue around the corners. Yeah, let's rub that all over there real nice. Yeah, rub it in real good. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Now there's nothing wrong with being a perfectionist. If you need to have a little bit more blue in there, go ahead. See how that blue's really just coming together? Oh yeah. Have you ever seen such a gorgeous blue? Oh yeah. I'm really enjoying myself here. Alright, so, now that we've got that blue in there, we're gonna go back to our settings here. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select white. We're gonna put that on the medium setting. We're gonna get those happy clouds in there. Just start them off. See how it's ever so slightly there? We're just giving the foundation of our clouds here, folks. Nothing special. Just the layout of them. We want these ones to kind of look like they're coming together a little bit. Don't worry, we're going to make them separated. There's no problem there. Now go ahead and go back to your settings. Jump up to the larger size. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting to make some clouds here. I remember back in, I'd say, probably late 79, I was... Hanging out with John Lennon and Yoko, and we were talking about how, you know, Steve Jobs was getting ready to kickstart Apple. And, uh, he was in talks with, uh, Lucas about the Star Wars films and all that. And, uh, Pixar wasn't even around yet, but they had the idea, you know, bringing animation to life on set. And I had given them a couple of ideas for how they were going to draw those. And, uh, the Toy Story background had the happy clouds before the Toy Story logo came up. I was behind that one. Uh, we were doing some really, really strong LSD, and, oh man, I was just tripping balls. It was a great time, though. Now, I'm kind of strained from the subject here. I really like how these clouds have come together right here. You see how just in this general area right here, I'm going to point to that for you. You can see where I'm pointing. These clouds look effortless and beautiful in the sky. Now, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to give just like there's a few little clouds just peeking up out of the corner down here. We don't want it to look like it's completely a sky. We want to have a little bit of clouds over here just kind of just coming together beautifully. All right. So today I woke up and I had a cup of coffee and I thought to myself, what a great idea I should do a sketch because I looked outside and I seen these clouds and they were just beautiful clouds. They were just happy clouds. Very, very happy clouds. And I thought to myself, wow, I really got to take a poo. So I was on the pooper and I was sitting there thinking and just before I wiped, I had my iPad there and I thought, man, I should go ahead and do some happy clouds. So that's what we're here for today, folks. My poo almost looks like their eyes and a mouth 
that's that doesn't look extremely like a, a cloud formation but we're gonna we're gonna build don't worry we're gonna build on that right now we want to kind of just get the gist of our sky in there so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna get a little bit darker of a blue to mix in and we're gonna go ahead and put that on the medium setting and we're gonna kind of put that off to the side a little bit just a little bit just a little bit and what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and put that light blue back over top of that and you see what I'm doing here it's kind of just mixing that sky in just a bit now go back to the big setting once more and let's go over top of that oh yeah look at that look at that look at that it's almost like the sky is coming together for us now it doesn't look like it's doing much but it's doing a little bit you got to keep going over top of that and just make it a little little lighter Go ahead, and we're going to get back to the baby blue again. Let's go ahead and cover top of that now. Look at that. See how that's just disappearing now? It almost looks like the sky has just a little bit of brightness coming out on the sides. That's what we want here, folks. We want this to look like it's completely blue on one side, because that's where we're going to put our happy sun with our sunglasses. You see that? Oh yeah, look at that. It's effortless. Now go ahead and just hit a few little swirls of it along the side and make it look like it belongs there. All right, okay, look at that. Do you see how that's there now? Do you see that? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead in and we're gonna make our sun come to life here. Now, I have a few different selections of yellow. We have pea yellow right here. We have orange yellow, kind of like my afro. It's a sexy afro nonetheless. And then we have a darker, deeper orange yellow. I was thinking of going ahead and going with the pea yellow because when I was taking that poo this morning and I looked down after I wiped and I seen that yellow, I said, that's gonna be my sun. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the outlining of the sun. Now go ahead and just get that outline in there. Oh yeah, look at that. And you see, that's why I had that blue blend in there because that's gonna give our sun life. Now go ahead and just keep filling that in. Just keep getting that in there real good. Just stick it in there. Oh yeah, all the way real deep, real deep in there. Oh, I think she likes that. I think she does. Oh yeah. So back to, uh, you know, stories with Mark Ross while he draws. Um, I remember this one time I was out and I was drinking coffee. I was out on the patio and I just had a new neighbor move in and she had never seen any of my work and she was watching TV on Channel 11 and she thought to herself, wow, it'd be great to get to know this guy. So she came over, we had a couple of cups of coffee and one thing led to another and I painted her naked. Oh man, she was beautiful. She was such a gorgeous woman. And uh, okay, now by the way, real quick, I'm gonna stop myself there, we'll get back to that story. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that deeper orange. Oh yeah, we're gonna make sure that's big. Yeah, real big. She liked it big. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over that a little bit. And as I was painting her, she said to me, she said, I wonder if anyone will ever do this in a movie. And I said, you know, let's go sit in the back of my Volkswagen and steam up the windows a little bit. And that's where DiCaprio got the idea for Titanic. I met up with him a couple of years later and uh, he had just got done doing uh, Gilbert's Grape and he said one day I want to be in a movie and I want to do what you did with my mom. <laughs> yes I know Leonardo DiCaprio's mom was the woman I painted in that photo. Johnny Depp, oh, no one really cared about him yet but now the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, those are great movies. Alright go ahead and get to the small one medium size. Kind of like DiCaprio's career before Titanic. And let's go ahead and let's add the little triangles on our sun. We want to make it look like they're actually on fire. Now notice how we're doing every single one individually. Almost like shark fins. Or a crackhead's teeth. Alright. Now go ahead and make sure they all kind of go a different direction. We want to give them life. Give them life. Alright. We're almost there. Now, see what I've done there? Do you see what I've done there? Our sun looks like it has shark fins, and that's what you want, you want shark fins. If you don't have shark fins, you're, you're really screwing up here. 
All right, so that one kind of protrudes a little bit farther out. That's okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna go in and we're gonna grab our darker orange again and we're gonna go ahead and bring that in now. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this back just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna kind of just protrude that orange in just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh yeah, do you see that? Look at that, just swirl that around a little bit, just swirl that around a little bit. Now it's looking like a sun. Oh yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give these a bigger one now. We need to give this a little bit more protrusion there. All right, now go ahead and just get that in there real nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Now do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, now we have a sun. Now go ahead and go over this all once, once more, one more time. Just get in that sun, give it a little bit more orange. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, you feel that? That's the good spot. You're hitting the spot. All right, so now that we have that, let's give our son some happy, happy eyes. We're going to go ahead and go back to our colors here. And we're going to go ahead and go with medium size. And we are going to go ahead and give him some eyes. See that? Just like that. Just like that. You're not really going to see them so much. Go ahead and get that in there like that. And here we go. Now, now we need to add our sunglasses in. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use black for that. Go ahead and use the larger size and just go ahead and there you go, right there, just like that. Now we're gonna bring these together. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring that there. And we're gonna go ahead and bring that there. Now, form your sunglasses. Make sure they are nice and dark nice and dark. Go ahead and just make circles. Just make circles. That's all we're doing right now. We're making circles. We can go ahead and bring the color and everything in after that. Yes, now do you see what I've done there? Do you see what I've done there? Go ahead and mix that in now. Make it look like it's meant to be there. Now, bring them together like that. There you go. That's what we needed right there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch to our smaller size. Yeah. So, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't really follow much of the, the Twitter stuff or, you know, the Facebook stuff. But uh, if you guys go ahead and like Dungeon Gaming 412 and subscribe, you can see a many, many list of different episodes we have coming out with Mark Ross. Now, um... What we need to do here is, you know what, I think I'm going to go back and patch up those sunglasses just a little bit, actually. Just a little bit more around the left side, which would be his right eye. Yep. Making them look like they come together like that. We're going to go ahead and have to select that deep black again. Go ahead and select that. And then just color and color in like that. Now we got to fill in a little bit of this yellow. Oh, yeah. Now we've hit the good spot. Now we want to go ahead and we want to take just a, a smidgen of gray, a real light gray. Uh, you know what, actually, I think this will do right here. And we want to make it look like his own light's kind of just coming across his sunglasses like that. Yeah, you see that? It almost looks like the light's just reflecting off of himself. Yeah, there you go, just like that, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over top of that with a little bit of black. Switch back to that black. Yeah, go ahead and switch right back to that. And just kind of protrude over that just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Makes it look like they're reflecting a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now let's go ahead and finish his mouth. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and color in that white. Color that white in real nice. Like he's got a big cheesy smile. He just got laid. Kind of like when I banged DiCaprio's mom. All right. Keep going, keep going. There you go. There you go. That's really starting to look like a really happy, smiley face. And these are happy clouds. These are happy clouds. All right. Now go back in. Switch to your smaller pencil. And go to black. We got to give him teeth, right, folks? Just a small white line right there, just like that. Now he's smiling. Okay, now, you would think that our son has a nose, right? Our son does have a nose. Get that deeper orange. Go in there. 
and just sketch them on in. All right, now, you can't see that too much just yet, but that's okay, that's fine. Go ahead and go to your bigger pencil and really start to bring that to life. All right, now, that's where we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we've gotta give a little bit more darker yellow to that, almost like a gold. There we go. There we go, see how that's darker? Now it looks like he has a nose. All right, now we're gonna go over top of that with a bright yellow. There we go. Now, just to give it that sunlight reflection. There you go, there you go. Oh yeah, oh, I can feel it. Can you feel that? I feel it. Now go ahead, let's give that a black outline. Why not, why not, why not, shall we? Let's see. There we go, there we go. Now go over top of that with a little bit of yellow. We don't want that coming out too, too much. We want that black to be kind of effortless a little bit. There we go, there we go. Now you can kind of see that he has a nose, but it's not too, too much. It's not too, too much. Just a little bit of an outline. There we go, there we go. All right, all right. Now you can see that he has a nose. All right then, now. What are we going to do about our happy clouds? We said they were happy clouds, right? They are happy clouds. Go ahead and select a really light gray. Get your big size there. Go ahead. Draw that in right there. We're just giving our clouds eye, folks. Just giving our clouds eyes. There we go. All right. Now go ahead and fill that in real nice. Real nice. Make sure that that's noticeable. We want these to be noticeable eyes. go. All right. We're going to go ahead and give them anime style eyes. Real happy eyes. All right. Now go ahead and switch to a nice white. And let's remember, keep that big motion on there. And perfect circles, guys. Perfect circles. Perfect circles. There you go. Oh uh, yeah. Now, we're gonna go ahead, actually, they need to get a little bit more white in there. Remember, white on top's always a good thing. You always want a lot of white on the face when you're drawing. That's the money shot, remember that. Remember, that's the money shot. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch back to our black. We're gonna go medium. All right, all right, you see that medium? That medium's beautiful, isn't it? Go ahead and just fill those eyes in. There you go. Happy clouds. Very, very happy, happy clouds. And there you go. We're almost done here, guys. We're wrapping it up. All right, all right. Now, we're going to go ahead. Actually, I think we're going to keep the black. I think we're going to keep the black. And we're just going to go ahead and hit one of these. Just a subtle, subtle smiley face. Just a subtle, subtle smiley face. Yep, not too much, just a little bit. Go ahead and give him a little raised eyebrow like he's thinking about something. Him, him too. There you go. All right, so that has been drawn Happy Clouds with Mark Ross. You can try this at home on paper, with a pencil, or even colored pencils with stencils. Um, what you gotta do is to stay tuned for the next episode is like and subscribe to Dungeon Gaming 412. I hope you've had a great time with me. I've got Leo's mom waiting upstairs in my bedroom and uh, I'm gonna paint her again. And uh, you know, I think really that's just, you know, that justifies pretty much everything that I can say. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more episodes of Let's Sketch with Mark Alright, have a great day.